Hey, Celebration Church. I am Joe Strano. I'm the counseling pastor here. I wanted to give you a word of encouragement during what could be some discouraging times. See, on Friday, God gave me a message. There's no need to fear. And that brought back some childhood memories. On Saturday mornings, one of my favorite cartoons was Underdog. And his tag phrase was, there's no need to fear, Underdog is here. Well, we also don't have a reason to fear. Not because Underdog is here. Because the word of God tells us not to. Fear not is used over 80 times in the Bible. Now look, I get it. There's reasons to fear. There's, you know, you might be afraid, you might be panicked, and that's okay. That's emotions, and we can't control our emotions. What we can control is what we do with it. So this morning, I want to give you some encouraging words on how to use it, okay? And I want to give you the encouragement of God's love. Isaiah 41.10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. How encouraging it to think that we have a Father in heaven who is loves us and will be there for us. When I think about God, I think about his open arms. See, I walked through life for 38 years, and I know what it's like to be wandering aimlessly, without purpose thinking that I was worthless, believing all the enemy's lies. When I turned around when I was 38, there was God, open arms, ready to embrace me. That's the way I see God. And that's where he is right now, holding out his arms, ready to embrace you during these times. I wanna share Matthew 6, 25 through 33 with you. That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food to drink or enough clothes to wear, isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns for your heavenly Father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Call all your worries, can, can, can all your worries add a single moment to your life? And why worry about your clothing? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing, yet Solomon in all of his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for the wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things, saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? Where will we buy toilet paper? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously, and he will give you everything you need. God loves us and provides for us. Remember, make God first. All right, Make him your first priority during this time. Make sure you're reading your Bible daily. And a good word of thumb, make sure that you're reading your Bible more than you're listening to the news. I get it, we have to get some news to stay informed, but make sure you're getting more information from the Bible than you are from the news, okay? Spend your regular prayer time, but just relax in him. Relax in his presence. All right, relax in his arms and take comfort in him being there. See, you tend to walk in the direction you're looking at. So if we're looking at what the world is telling us, we walk in their direction. Instead of looking at God, so we walk in his direction as he's guiding us through. All right, you also tend to, to see what you're looking for. If you're looking for negativity, you'll find it. If you're looking for reasons to panic, you'll definitely find it. But if you're looking at God, what you'll find is his love, his peace, and his grace. Remember, God holds us in his hand. John 10, 28 to 29 says, I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. God is greater than them all. He's greater than the virus. He's greater than the media. He's greater than panic people buying up all the toilet paper and water. He's greater than everything. Rest in him. Have, have, uh, have him wrap around you like that warm blanket on a cold winter's day. And take comfort in his presence today. Thank you, Celebration. God bless.